Good evening, this is Luke Thomas here at QuakePrediction.com and the Earthquake Forecast Center it is 927 in the evening on Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. And let's look at uh, what's happened during the last 24 hours around the world. Uh, first of all, the most significant earthquake was a 5.4 in Western Africa and Gabon. That was a very significant earthquake. And the other uh, very interesting earthquake was this one up in Iceland, just, uh, wow, very close to Reykjavik, uh, southwest of Reykjavik. And uh, they're worried about a volcanic situation there. We'll get to that in a little bit. And uh, let's, uh, well, I got this one up in Peru here as well, central Peru. That was a 5.1. As far as California, it's been pretty quiet and that's going to get uh, uh, very active here in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. We'll start with the Los Angeles forecast. And um, during the next uh, 24 hours or so, the risk will increase north of San Francisco Bay. And then uh, tomorrow on the 10th into the 11th, well, this is Risk is uh, through to tomorrow as well, the 9th and the 10th. But uh, tomorrow, the 10th into the 11th, uh, we're getting a very strong signal northwest of LA. And if you've been watching uh, during the last couple months, the end of uh, January, we had a strong signal for this area as well. And uh, February as well. But this this new forecast model is, is extremely accurate and um, usually picks up signals that are uh, within 24 hours of hitting uh, or releasing their energy. And this one here uh, should release a possible 6.0 to 7.0 is possible northwest of Los Angeles. Uh, during the next uh, 48 hours or so, most likely on March 11th, but this forecast is for the 10th to the 11th, northwest of Los Angeles. So if you live in that area, please warn your friends and family. We have a very strong signal northwest of Los Angeles for March 10th and 11th. And let's go to the Alaska forecast. We'll get back to that in a second. Still some risk here, uh, southwest of Anchorage and northwest of Kodiak Island here, where 5.0 is possible there. And now the risk is building south of Anchorage. I believe this is Montague Island here, but this is uh, south of Anchorage. And a 4.5 is uh, possible in this area, south of Anchorage during the next uh, 36 hours. Over in Chile, uh, the risk is right now up in the far north part of the country. Uh, northeast of Antofagasta here in the far north, where a 5.0 earthquake is possible in the next 24 hours. In Italy, we have some residual risk up there in the north. And right now, this is the forecast the 8th through the 9th. So this risk is still very, very high near Palermo, where 5.0 is possible uh, north of Palermo near Sicily during the next 12 hours or so, then the risk moves up to uh, north of Bologna, where 4.5 is possible on, uh, on the 10th of March. <clears throat> Over in Japan, the risk right now is uh, down near Hiroshima to Okayama and Osaka. You can see the risk building in here on this forecast. And then on the, on the 10th of March from Hiroshima to Okayama and then a small area just west of Tokyo. And then on the 10th into the 11th, they can get a 5.0 to 5.5 up near Hokkaido, Kushiro in the far, far north part of Japan. And then the risk still remains 80% uh, uh, in that same area from Hiroshima to Osaka and Nagoya. Um, so here's that risk there from Hiroshima to Okayama to Osaka during the next 24 to 48 hours. So there's two hot spots, one right there near Hiroshima and Okayama and one far north near uh, Hokkaido. 
And in the Philippines, we got a chance to do all the, uh, the forecast maps today. Uh, the risk is in central Philippines near Legaspi in uh, central and northeast Philippines where a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible for the next 24 hours. And the Greece forecast remains in the same spot there, uh, northwest of Athens, and then builds north of Athens uh, here in the next 24 hours. And then that risk dissipates after that. So exp still expecting something north of Athens during the next 24 hours. Central America. There it is, Costa Rica. This uh, area here uh, west of the Mexico City and northwest of Acapulco could produce a 5.0 there. And a 4.5 is possible near, uh, south of uh, San Jose, Costa Rica, or down near here in uh, Colombia. Central America. The other one we have is uh, the Ecuador and Peru forecast. And from Lima, up through east central Peru is a very high risk. And let's look real quick to see, uh, I believe something happened in that area. Oh yeah, we mentioned that. Here's a quake that hit uh, northeast of Lima and southwest of Pucallpa. And that here's Pucallpa here. So the quake hit right here in this 90% risk area. So pretty high risk from Lima to Pucallpa and east central Peru down to Lima during the next 24 hours. And Indonesia, high risk out in the eastern portion, eastern Java here, in the eastern portion of Indonesia for the next uh, 24 hours. This is interesting here in Taiwan, uh, this risk was uh, in the far south portion of uh, Taiwan and you look over here, and I'll zoom in on Taiwan here. And during the last, uh, here it is right here, uh, March 9th, uh, 4.6, right down here. You can see this island right here. Well, I guess it's almost on top of it. 4.6 right there, and here it is right here. That's in the 80 to 75% risk area, the highest risk on this forecast. Now the risk uh, during the next uh, 24 hours or so is uh, up here in uh, Northeast Taiwan, right here near uh, Hulian, Hulian, I forget the name of that city there. Northeast Taiwan during the next 24 hours, 4.0 to 4.5 is possible there. Puerto Rico forecast, uh, risk is still over here near uh, Port-au-Prince where a 4.0 to 5.0 is possible. And then the risk is very high during the next uh, 24 hours to 36 hours uh, in the Virgin Islands and the Northern Lesser, Lesser Antilles, east of San Juan, Puerto Rico, where a 5.0 is possible or even larger. Very high risk there east of uh, Puerto Rico during the next 24 hours. And then uh, Washington, um, west of Seattle, there's a pretty high risk out there for the next uh, 24 hours. And I believe, let's see here. Yes, a 3.3 earthquake hit west of Seattle, right in that 90% risk area. And let's look at the uh, Turkey and New Zealand as well here, Turkey forecast. Um, down here near Izmir in Western Turkey, you could get a 4.5 in that spot, far Eastern Greece during the next 24 hours and down in New Zealand. Uh, the risk is starting to really build here near Wellington, just North of Wellington, where a 5.0 is possible in this area, just North of Wellington. One more time over to uh, Los Angeles. Risk is pretty high just north of San Francisco during the next 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours. And then on the 10th into March 11th, most likely in the 11th, uh, 6.0 to 7.0 earthquake is possible northwest of LA 
you have friends that live northwest of Los Angeles, let them know that we have a very strong signal from Santa Maria down to Los Angeles here, Santa Barbara, this area uh, is just southwest of Bakersfield, northwest of Los Angeles, very strong signal in there where a 6.0 7.0 earthquake is possible during the next uh, 48 hours, most likely on March 11th. Thank you very much for stopping by today here at Earthquake uh, Forecast Center. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, subscribe and get the notifications. We're here every day, uh, right about the same time, um, about 9, 9.30 to 10, 10 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, here with the latest earthquake forecast, and we'll keep you updated, always uh, improving. It's been uh, almost, well, going on our 16th year of earthquake uh, prediction and forecast here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. All right, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, it's always uh, great to see you. I don't really see you, but uh, it's great to talk to you during the premiere of this uh, video. And uh, thank you so much for, uh, for visiting our quickprediction.com and stay safe everybody and we'll talk to you tomorrow.